hey welcome back to my youtube channel and i'm going to do uh, another video for github copilot now i'm going to review how about if i use the same in java program so i'm going to do a simple demonstration and i'll be doing a lot of videos covering github copilot and I think it's amazing tools to use as a software engineer and this is what I'll be covering in this video. As you know that in um, GitHub Copilot is just a companion tools that is going to be a side of you as a software engineer in order to help you write a better code. So in order to demonstrate um, what is GitHub Copilot does, you need to have a comment that describe what you want to achieve. So let's say that I need a function that want, uh, you know, to reverse a string. So I can just do that. And if I hit enter, it's going to give me the suggestion of a, a type of a function that I can write in order to reverse a string. So I know that um, this you can hover to, to the suggestion then you can have uh, the, the the response for that so this implementation is using um, the for loop and you can you can have the solution right the way so now if i go to the main uh, uh, here it's just going to remember that i have the context uh, a function that that is able to reverse the string <coughs> and by having that function uh, there so you can see that it is able to see that uh, I have the function uh, that is able to reverse the string and it's going to respect that if within the project so that's what we call the context so once I have that you can see that now it is able to know that uh, I can maybe want to print this screen, uh, this string reversed uh, from my function. So you can see that it's able to give me the entire line of code uh, suggested. So if I run this code and see if it is uh, optimum, um, so that I can see, you can see that the string is uh, reversed. But I think uh, because I know that I know how to reverse a string. I think this is not optimal solution maybe because it's involving the four condition which can be the on squared in time complexity so which I don't need so suppose that I don't need that um, uh, so then I can just come here and uh, uh, you know try to to just uh, type the code myself in that case it's going to give me something so you can see that you know in most cases is not going to give you the better solution but as a programmer it's up about you uh, you to choose which solution to accept and which to reject and according to the, the the suggestion you may have it might not be optimal as you might think but it's just uh, you know progress and this is the technical preview I think in the future I to be able to give more accurate and more optimal solution that can be uh, good so you can see that if I learn the function it's going to just give me the same result um, but this uh, gets to be uh, optimized so let me run it again Okay, so now what if we want to, uh, let's say that we want to sort a, a list of, uh, so let's say that I want to sort a list of dates, maybe I can see uh, those dates uh, listed. So, uh, you know uh, functions okay so you need to write a better description of what you want to to do if you do that then uh, you can see that it's going to start suggesting me that I'll be taking the array of dates 
and it's going to just now sort the dates and you can see that I'm just doing the normal for loop so that way I go through every dates that I have then I'm going to do what inside it uh, I'm going to do the another uh, for loop which I'm not sure what this date is going to do and I'm going to compare the date before by taking the inner loop uh, the outer loop to the inner loop compare those two objects then if and then now, now I like it now it's, it's going to create the temporary variable and put the 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 outer loop to that temporal variable and it's going to take those dates from the previous loop to the second loop and just equal them you know and uh and it's going to take the second uh value from the second loop and equal to the temporal variable and by doing that is going to you know uh be able to sort the dates so you can see that everything I'm doing here is just like uh, you know to completing everything. So then now have the date sorted out. I think this is amazing. And so um, yeah, I think this is really amazing. So I'm I'll, I'll be making this video short, and I'll be creating more videos about GitHub Copilot so that you can uh, I can be able to review it in more deep. This was Java example, and in the future I'm planning to use it in more uh, pro professional project I'm having so that you can see it in a real world. Thank you for watching my video.